Okay, this is configuration number two. Um, it's what they call the front lounge setup. Uh, the driver's seat and the passenger seat uh, turn all the way around and the table from the back can be used up here. So uh, sometimes, like when I'm editing this video, I sit up here and use this as my front office. Well, it's pretty comfortable. It's pretty easy set up to just switch the seats around and clearly everybody's happy with this arrangement and this is the setup for my bedroom uh, several of you have asked how this uh, converts from being a seating area in the day to being a bedroom at night it's pretty simple the table folds down and fills up the center space and then the cushions from the back are rearranged and they flat and just bring out my sheets and pillows and we're ready for sleep and as you can see somebody's already about to doze off here um, i also uh, sit here in the morning and kind of check my email while i listen to headline news and whatever and i didn't have any place for uh, my coffee cup and uh, there's no end table um, no nightstand so i built this little shelf that's collapsible I just press the buttons and it lays down flat. So that works out pretty well for me. Come on, get up here. We're back to the daytime configuration. I usually have it set up like this most of the time. Um, I can sit here and eat, have my meals. Um, and it's also a good place to put my laptop and if I'm doing some work during the day. So Cosmo likes this set up because he can look out the back window and check out all the uh, squirrels and cats and birds. Uh, it's a much better view than from inside in the big warehouse with only windows that are way up high. So um, this works out pretty well for us. These are the new kitchen cabinets that I installed. I took out the jump seats uh, that were here. I left the bottom in uh, because they have drawer space that can hold a lot of stuff. Uh, same with this side. Um, I put in kitchen cabinets uh, because I really don't anticipate having many passengers come with me uh, along the way. So this works out much better. Uh, there's one on this side too. Um, one of the tips and tricks I learned uh, online was to put everything in baskets. Uh, then you can pull it out as you need it and see what what you have um, so that works out pretty well that way I don't have to take everything out when I want to look to find something that's in the back so um, I also have storage up here that's got all my staples uh, lentils rice seeds um, baking mix over here I've got more beans pasta coffee, dog treats. Um, I've got bananas hanging here for now, but I've ordered a hammock uh, that will go uh, somewhere that has yet to be determined uh, that I can keep all my fruits and vegetables in. Right now I've got my fruit sitting here on the counter and that's okay when I'm stable, but it won't work very well uh, when I'm on the road. So uh, this is my wardrobe. I found this um, hanging shelf unit on Amazon and um, this is really meant to ha have clothes hanging along the top. You can see places for hangers but I don't have that many hanging clothes so I bought this uh, shelf system. I've got mostly uh, t-shirts, shorts, uh, jeans and I found that if I roll them up tightly I can fit a ton of t-shirts in here, uh, shorts, jeans. Um, I do have a few hanging things and I found that a good way for that to work out for me is um, because I only have limited hanger space, I put three shirts on a hanger um, and then they can fit in here pretty nicely and tuck in. This is my uh, bathroom. Uh, cupboard and uh, you can see I've got towels, uh, I've got toothbrush, hairbrush, razor, uh, washcloth, whatever I need in this little compartment, aspirin, uh, some dog medication, 
uh, that I may need on the road. Um, I've stopped thinking in terms of square footage and started to think in terms of um, being much more vertical. If you don't use uh, the entire height and cram stuff into every usable space, there's just not going to be enough room for everything that I want to bring with me. Up here I've got a microwave and above that I've got storage space for all my canned goods. Uh, it holds quite a bit. Uh, it's not quite as organized as I hoped it would be. Um, it's much more narrow at this end. Um, as you can see, a small can of tomato paste can fit up here and uh, all the way up to uh, the bigger cans uh, and jars that won't fit down at the other end. And here I have my morning coffee supplies. I've got uh, coffee uh, filters and the press that I use. I get up every morning and make coffee here and then go back to bed and read my emails and listen to the news headlines uh, while I have my first cup of coffee. Uh, the stove, I think I showed you before, works pretty well. It's a propane stove. Um, I uh, can cook on it and um, I like gas much better than electric, so this works out really well for me. I've got drawer space. Oops. Um, this is my the proverbial drunk drawer, I guess. Um, over here is all my silverware and utensils that fits in here. Um, the refrigerator, not quite full yet, but getting there. You can see I'm going to have to shop for much smaller jars of condiments. Um, I'm not going to be able to fit very much in if I uh, don't keep everything in here pretty tiny. In this cupboard, under the sink, I've got uh, my dishes. Um, I figured out a system that seems to be working so far. Uh, they're in the dish strainer and they're separated by uh, plastic bags that keeps them from banging around when they drive. Um, and everything fits in there pretty well. I've got uh, my uh, tub for washing dishes in the sink. And I found this great bowl set that has uh, four or five bowls. It's got a uh, pasta strainer. It's got a sieve, uh, measuring cups, measuring spoons. Everything fits in and it lays pretty flat. So it's ideal for such a tiny space. Um, and you can't go wrong with this many colors, right? It's got a built-in uh, garbage can. It fits a um, normal size grocery bag. And when you're done, just tie it up and take it out. Up above in the upper cabinets, I have a place for my all my linens and bedspreads. Uh, that goes up here in this closet. I still got a little room left uh, for maybe some more sheets or pillowcases. Um, over on this side, I have a bin that has all of my sorry about that has all my socks underwear uh, Cosmos scarves and that's pretty uh, pretty full back here I have uh, the remnants of my medicine cabinet things that I wasn't sure what to do with that I didn't want to throw out uh, in case I ever need it and it fits pretty conveniently all the way in the back there. This is probably one of my favorite parts of the whole van. I, uh, I really like these three windows up top. Uh, at night when I'm laying down in bed and I look out here, uh, I can easily see, uh, well, last night when I went to bed, there was Jupiter and Saturn through this window. And this morning when I woke up, uh, the moon was just starting to set. So uh, pretty nice feature. I like being able to uh, look out. I like being surrounded by windows. Um, somebody asked me if I was concerned about privacy and for the most part, no, I'm not. Uh, but all the windows have built-in curtains uh, and they just, they just slide across on the track. So everything can be uh, closed up if I, uh, if I need to sleep in a, a Walmart parking lot at some point. Um, 
there should be no problem. In the back of the van, they have what they call the garage. Um, and underneath the seat, there's some extra storage space. You can see I've got my toolbox. It's kind of dark under here. Um, I've got my folding chair uh, that I can set up when I'm camping. Um, there's a jack. Um, I've got my tripod, first aid kit. Um, and in here, I'm gonna put my backpack that has my winter clothes in it. Um, and then I'll still have some room for extra stuff, maybe uh, a, a winter coat, things like that, that I don't plan on using regularly, but that I may need at some point. And on the side here, they have what is called the basement. Um, and in it is mostly the utility stuff. Right here is um, where you run your electric uh, cord if you're at a place where you can plug in. Um, I've got an outdoor shower um, right here. Um, there's also the hoses uh, for, for dumping the uh, tanks, uh, the black tank and the gray water tank, and uh, some leveling blocks if I'm parked someplace where it's not level. Uh, there's uh, other stuff that needs to go into the toilet for treatment and pretty soon I'm going to have to uh, drain all of the tanks and um, winterize it so that my pipes don't burst when it freezes. Um, a quick tour of the outside. I have uh, the vent here that's the back of the refrigerator uh, that vents the heat generated from the fridge. Here I have my gasoline and propane fill tanks. Spare tire. I've got my new Delaware plates. And here is the uh, water heater um, and the vent for um, the hot water heater and for the uh, propane heat that heats the, um, that heats the coach. My front door. And that's pretty much the tour of the van.